standing by for confirmation of uh, main chutes. There they are. There they are. There they are. They've made it. Yeah. All three shoots out. Our Listen to the crowd on the boat. Show you on the main. It really looks great. An extremely loud applause here in Mission Control. An extremely loud applause as Apollo 13 on uh, main shoots comes through loud and clear on the television display here. Venting. Yes, venting the last of the fuel there. You saw that smoke go up? Uh, we have a report uh, from the Iwo Jima that Apollo 13 uh, at a distance of four miles from the ship. Four miles. Uh, the smoke you see is uh, venting of RCS uh, propellants, uh, reaction control system propellants. They're going to 5,000. Oh, under Apollo 13, that's their recovery and your shoot will look good. <laughs> It, no more, no more than five seconds late. No more than five seconds late. We had splashed out. Hold on, one splashed out at this time. The French shoes are displaced into the water. Three and a half miles from Iwo Jima. This one of one, the command module is stable one at this time. They're riding comfortably. And they've landed the right way up. Helicopter going in there to drop a flare for the wind direction for the other helicopters. Look at the heat scarring on the side of that module. I think this picture you're seeing must be for the first time the picture from the television camera in one of the recovery helicopters. Helicopter there reporting one to two foot waves and a swell going from three to five feet. The crew there saying they're in very good shape. The retrieval operation beginning there in one, less than one minute from now. Swim helicopter one going into its first position to drop the swimmers. Here goes the first swimmer to put in the sea anchor. Attaches the sea anchor to prevent the module drifting too far. These pictures you're seeing come from the television camera on board one of the helicopters hovering over the command module at this time. Odyssey there, the crew confirming that they dumped all of their fuel successfully. Here comes the first helicopter with the first swimmer. And there he goes. Swimming towards the command module, carrying the sea anchor.
calculation of the operating bags estimated to be 40%, 40%. The first woman there coming into the command module. And he's making contact. The Iwo Jima now only one mile from the command module. Three, three miles from Iwo Jima. Correction on that, they've corrected and said three miles to go. Any minute, any minute now we should see, there, they go, there goes the swimmer. Two swimmers in there with a flotation collar, the collar that goes round the command module. They then inflate it with a carbon dioxide canisters and inflate it, it then keeps the command module in a safe position and prevents it from sinking. There go the two swimmers. You can see that, that bag they're carrying there. Oh, This one here, that square bag, contains the flotation collar and in the water that bag there will be opened up and the collar will be inflated and then put round by the swimmers. Two helicopters holding station back there and there it looks as if the flotation collar is right round. Well, this is Iwo Jima. Request your path to Apollo. Turn off recovery beacon. Over. Uh, Roger. Break. Uh, Apollo 13. You copy. Jim Lovell there saying he'll turn his recovery beacon off. It's been giving out a signal all the way down, just in case they land too far away to be seen. Two helicopters coming in there, one carrying the photographic helicopter and the other the air boss, the man who organizes what Chuck Smiley, the commander of the helicopter that will pick them up, has called a ballet of helicopters. A very carefully worked out script in which each helicopter does exactly what the script says. 